Jeff, uh, what do you take away from a game like this? Um, you know, it's obviously totally un unacceptable. Um, you can't, uh, you can't have nights where you give away easy goals like we gave away tonight. What, what, what Dylan talked about puck management. Is that the biggest difference you see? Because it, you guys had that eight game losing streak earlier in the season and worked your way out of it. And even though there were some losses in there, there were close losses, hard, you know, you guys played hard. What's, and I know the previous two games, you know, were different from this, but like, what kind of has gone wrong now again? Yeah, you know, I just thought we had too many no-shows tonight, too many guys that uh, didn't bring their A or B or C game. Um, so when you have that many no-shows, it's hard. Uh, you know, we had a few guys going, but overall, no. We actually started the game. I thought our first three shifts were great. They were exactly what we wanted to do. Then all of a sudden, we give up a, you know, a two-on-one goal out of, out of really nothing. It shouldn't have happened. Um, so... Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's puck management or maybe better term puck execution. Like we'd have the puck on our stick and we gotta, you gotta be, you know, we're on a three and two rush. We get nothing out of it constantly. You know, you gotta be able to execute and make a play. Um, and then, and then panic sets in, then you start throwing the puck away all the time and then you never have it. So yeah, any way you shake it, Helene, it's uh, totally unacceptable. How do you, as much as you can ensure a better response, uh, Saturday? Well, again, it starts by making sure we better check way better. You know, I know we get concerned we don't score, and I get it, but uh, this is the result when you don't check. Um, you know, if that game's 2-1, uh, you know, you, you, you get, you're giving yourself a chance to win, but when you're giving up seven goals, you have zero chance. So we better start by by figuring out tomorrow how we're going to check better. Thank you. Max for the anti -con from from MLive. Yeah, Jeff, uh, just in that first period, uh, you know, after they scored a, a couple goals there, do you attribute any of, any of the uh, the breakdowns just to a to lack of focus, uh, just uh, trying to press for offense after having been shut out uh, in consecutive games? You know, they, they scored the first, I mean, obviously, you know, it happened, it was a barrage, it happened so fast that, I, you know, those are momentum moments, you know, whether it's on the penalty kill, obviously they scored first, when I make a mistake, we give up a, a, a kind of a two on two ish that became a two on one, and it's in our net. So let's relax and play and then and then we have to kill a penalty and and, uh, and it goes in right away like you know we got to do a way better job of that and then all of a sudden boom boom so I would just say lack of understanding the, the situation and making sure that, that we change momentum for our side and not allow it to go the wrong way. And when, uh, like you said, uh, a lot of dose shows tonight, what, what what is your remedy for that? What, what options do, is just a matter of, uh, you know, there's, you're limited on a number of lineup changes that you can make for the next game, but, but just how do you, how do you uh, rectify that for the next game? Um, well, I mean, one option is to make lineup changes for certain. One option is to, uh, uh, to, to make sure our guys understand the, the readiness that we need to make sure that we, we come to play every night with. And, and you know, we're not a good enough team to, to come and, and play at uh, 80% our best, much less 50% our best. Thanks, Jeff. Next, we go to Max Waltman from The Athletic. Hey, Jeff, it looked like uh, Zadina was pretty frustrated on the bench there after that last goal. I know you don't typically talk after games or anything like that, but do you say anything to a guy, a young guy like him going through it the way that kind of looked like he was tonight? We'll go through it tomorrow. You know, um, I think it's generally best the next day. Uh, we'll go through it tomorrow. He, he, you know, kind of put himself – he didn't get much help on that play, to be honest with you. Someone's got to be talking to him. Um you know, I think once once he got trapped up in that situation, we shouldn't have been uh, looking for offense right there. Someone's got to back him up a little bit. So, um, you know, it certainly looks bad at a turnover in that spot, and you can't trap yourself. But once he did, he needs some help from his teammates. And then just uh, any update or early word on Mark Stahl? Uh, you know, he didn't finish the game. I would say it was out of precaution. Um, I, I don't know where that stands for Saturday, um, but it wasn't. it's not a huge, huge thing. It was, uh, you know... We had 70 dressed. Um, we just made the decision. It was the right move for tonight. Thanks, Jeff. And the last question will come from Ted Colton from the Detroit News. Hey, Jeff, you kind of alluded to it a few times in the past, but boy, with some of these some of these games with Greiser and Ned, he just has not gotten much help. He's had, you know, just tough nights, basically. I mean, mentally, you said he's kind of, he's, he's the type that's able to shake it off. But boy, do you think it's, going to get to him here at some point or just keeps it has to keep on shaking it off or what 
we have to, you know, he has to, um, he's got to find a way to shake it off. We have, he has no choice. Uh, we have no choice. Um, you know, has it been hard? Absolutely. Is it, is, can it be defeating? Absolutely. Can it be frustrating? Absolutely. But you know, you got to dig in and that's just the reality of it. We got to dig in as a team uh, and he's got to dig in as an individual and, and focus on what he can control. And that's the, the tomorrow. There's not one thing we can do about going back. Uh, we'll learn from it. We'll address it. And then we got to focus on tomorrow. Do you, t- do you think you guys took any step forward offensively, you think, tonight? I mean, you got the one goal, but, I mean, what no, you- no. in that part of the game? I don't think we took anything but total steps backwards tonight.